brand new Instant Pot Duo Plus 60. I'm going to give an overview and my opinions of this new model. Then I'll do the initial test run, and then I'll try cooking something. The Instant Pot is a modern take on the old stovetop pressure cooker. It's a multifunction electric pressure cooker that's garnered a massive loyal following. A quick search on Google, YouTube, or Facebook will yield thousands of recipes that people have tested and shared. One of the major benefits people tout is that the Instant Pot can cook foods much faster than the traditional way. For example, dried beans can be cooked without pre-soaking, and pot roasts can be cooked in under an hour. You can also brown meats and use it to do the job of a rice cooker or a crock pot. This is the new Spring of 2017 model that is an upgrade of the Instant Pot Duo 60. I ordered this from Amazon two days ago and it just arrived. I purchased this myself. I didn't receive this as part of a promotion or in exchange for my review. Now that I'm done unpacking it, you can see everything included on the table. Some of the main differences between this and the prior version are a larger screen, additional program buttons, including cake, egg, and sterilize. The power plug is also disconnectable and it's a standard computer style power plug. One of the new features I like is that the inner pot has a max fill line. Before I did anything else, I read the manual to familiarize myself with its operation. Now we'll follow the directions for the initial test run. The first step is to add three cups of water into the inner pot Step two is to close the lid. Then turn the steam release handle to closed. Step three is to press the steam button. Then press the plus or minus keys to get the steam time set to two minutes. Now we wait 10 seconds and the cooker will display on. It's been about 10 minutes, the pressure is building until the float valve pops up. Once working pressure is reached, the steam program will begin. Now we wait for two minutes. And now it's done. It'll take between 10 and 40 minutes for the pressure to drop naturally, so I'm going to turn the steam release handle to release the pressure now. So now I'm gonna use one of the new programs to hard boil some eggs. To hard boil eggs, use the steamer rack. One cup of water. and the eggs. Then you close the lid and make sure the steam release valve is set to closed. Then you simply press the egg button. Now we wait. It took about five minutes to come up to pressure and now the egg program has started. And we're done. I'll open the steam release valve to let the pressure out. Let's see what we've got. Surprise, surprise, they're eggs. I'm gonna cool them in a water bath to stop the cooking.
The egg peeled really easily. And depending on how well you want your eggs cooked, you could always increase the time on the program a minute or two. Next time, I'll probably leave them in for seven minutes as these look slightly undercooked to me. So now that we've run a cooking program, I'll give you my thoughts. As always, this package arrived quickly from Amazon. It was packaged well and had numerous safety labels to help prevent mistakes. The build quality seems to be great. It's very solid. The buttons are labeled clearly and the display is more informative and user-friendly. It does have three new cooking programs. The manual is easier to read and the inner pot has markings which now shows the maximum fill line. Although I've only done limited testing, this looks like it would be a great addition to the kitchen. One of the things the recipes don't usually mention is that although the cooking time for a pot roast may be an hour, the Instant Pot takes additional time to build up to working pressure before the cooking timer starts. I normally make yogurt using a sous vide immersion heater, so I'm excited to try the yogurt program on the Instant Pot. If you're interested in one of these, I've put the link in the description below. If you buy through the link, you'll help support us, which we appreciate. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. And if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.